are whatamisfit.com. So, w this is our first blog. We're going to be doing them weekly, weekly installments, so check us out. Just talking about different issues, issues we've encountered yeah. in the lives of 22-year-olds. Yeah. So, we're going to jump right in. And the first topic today is relationships. And we've heard in the song, again, by mm -hmm. John Legend. Yeah. We are just talking about how when people break up nowadays, they don't break up. Yeah. They turn into best friends. Yeah. Or yeah. cut friends or whatever you like. Yeah. Call it. Yeah. So that's our topic, and when is it time to, to move on go. and just let go and just start fresh without that person? So, um, yeah, I mean, it's like you date people forever, or either you're like in a so-called relationship for forever, and then when y'all finally break up, you don't even break up because you're still at each other's house mm -hmm. every day or every week. <laughs> you still act just like boyfriend and girlfriend, and you still go out like to dinner. You still mm -hmm. go to movies, just you know things boyfriend and girlfriends would do, like dating. It ages you. Makes yeah, you feel like it does. Forty five, and I mean, especially with us being in college, like there's so many people to meet. And you're just yeah. Oh my God! I yeah. swear my daughter is not gonna have a boyfriend yeah. when she goes to college mm -hmm. because it's like it's yeah. your first love. Yeah. Like you're so attached to them, you mm -hmm. don't know how to let go. You're just like yeah. I don't want to let go. Yeah, and then especially like when you come in freshman year, you go home every weekend to see them <laughs> instead of like going out <laughs> to parties and meeting people. So yeah. that really messes you up and, you know, kind of messes up your college career. Yeah. <laughs> the social part. And so, you know, you know <laughs> that's what happens with that. And it's just, it's not healthy. It's really not because you become to depend on that person mm -hmm. in a sense. Like, not just for everything or them doing stuff you for you. You can't see yourself without them. Yeah. Like, as if y'all are married. Exactly. And you're not even really boyfriend and girlfriend. You're not even together. But it's always a you might as well just say we're together. Exactly. You know. You're basically in limbo because you're not yeah. technically together, mm -hmm. but you are. Yeah. So you're in limbo. I mean, I think, like, personally, it's time to move on and let go. You know when it's time to go ahead and just leave, but you just don't. Like, if you're not together and you still get mad over what each other does with other people, it's time to let go. And they have a whole other life <laughs> with different people. It's <laughs> time to let go. Like, we're not the right thing to be taken yeah. by. It's time to go. I mean, it's just, we're so young, and I just feel like <laughs> there's nobody left. Because everywhere I look around, people are just, we might as well be boyfriend and girlfriend. I mean, yeah. And it's know? like, breakup isn't what it used to be. It's not. Back when our parents say they would break up and move on and date. It was Somebody such else. thing as courtship, yeah, where the woman anymore. would be courted by a mm -hmm. man, wine and dying. Yeah. You know what I mean? And she, I mean, if things didn't work out, break up, move on, break up, move on. But nowadays, <laughs> we no, like have these terminologies <laughs> of like, Homeboy, homegirl, pet friends, whatever you want to call it. Best friends. Best friends. <laughs> That's the main one. People love it. It's like if you've been friend. together a little bit over a year, when you break up, you don't stop talking. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Because you're just holding on to some type of title just to keep them around. Yeah. That's my best friend. In reality, in reality, y'all are very close. And y'all are friends, but you are not best friends because you cannot truly be best friends with somebody if you still care about them. Exactly. Or if you still care about what they're doing with another person. Exactly. If you know, anything. So, I mean, that's, I think, that's we, just, you know, we just wanted some feedback. How do other people feel about that? Because a lot of times we just talk amongst ourselves yeah. and we don't understand it. people, well, our age really... Yeah, acknowledge that or recognize that that's a problem because mm -hmm. that's a problem we have to like. Yeah, break up should be break up, let go, move on. And then a good thing, can, oh, go it's a problem. Like it's a problem. And a good thing when you break up, like even it's. Plenty
many people who break up and then they don't talk or, you know, they just, like, when you break up, don't talk for a couple months. And then if you come back together, it's that's actually, fine. Like, it'll, I think it'll I work out better. I have that too. Me too. I think it'll work out better because... You break up with people, and then you look five years later, and you're still talking to them. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> on another note, yeah. we're, we're so happy that you came to see our video. Yes, and thank you. Again, I'm Melanie. I'm Monique. And we're with Miss Six. Come check us out every week. Bye. Bye.